Hi, this is Matt. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the sample applications provided with a Velocity DB download. This sample application is called Database Locking. It's about uh, describing concurrency control um, in general and uh, for Velocity DB. So let's first start a solution that contains this uh, sample. You go to the programs menu. Velocity DB and Velocity DB solution. So I already installed the Velocity DB with the server before starting this uh, sample. And this is the sample database locking. So let's, this is a, a WPF um, application, and uh, I'll, I'll describe the the parts of the user interface once we get started. Let's start it here. So in, in this uh, interface, we have four database sessions. One, two, three, four. And you can control these uh, sessions by clicking here in, in the GUI. And let's, this first session uh, panel, it has a choice of optimistic locking, optimistic concurrency control, or uh, if not checked, it's the pessimistic uh, concurrency control. Let's first talk about what is optimistic locking or optimistic concurrency control. It is um, a, a way of eliminating all database lock requests. Instead, what happens uh, is that when data is about to be written back to the database or committed, uh, the database system checks uh, if, if you're modifying a page, it checks the page, um, the version, that you're up, that you're about to write, has it been changed uh, since uh, my update started? It can do so in Velocity DB if the uh, data being updated is just a single page. Uh, in the beginning of each page in the database, there is a page info uh, structure that contains a database version. Uh, when we update, we know what the prior version should be. And if the database system detects that the version is not what we're expecting, then we're gonna, uh, the database um, server or the client is going to issue an optimistic locking uh, fail exception. Um, a few prominent Database systems use optimistic locking besides Velocity DB, uh, Google App Engine, the Media Wiki, which uh, is the, uh, the backbone of uh, Wikipedia. Microsoft Entity Framework supports this. And with Velocity DB, it's an option. Uh, can choose between optimistic locking or pessimistic locking. Um, Let's first demonstrate uh, what happens with uh, pessimistic locking. And let's say we want to use the Velocity DB server. And let's start a transaction. Two transactions, one uh, session one and one session two. Now, uh, when pessimistic locking is um, in effect, then every time you're reading or, or updating a page, before uh, getting the page, you'll have to uh, issue a lock request, and uh, only one uh, client can write a page. Uh, can get a, a lock granted. Um, 
But uh, let's say uh, with, with pessimistic locking, then uh, there's also a deadlock possibility. Like if, if um, this session one is updating an uh, object in database one, and session two starts by updating an object in database two, but then session one goes on to, and wants to update the same object as session two just updated. And session two wants to update the object that session one just updated. In that case, both session one and session two are both waiting for the other session to release its um, update log. Let's see what happens if we create that situation using the velocity DB server. So immediately we get back that we, we uh, when we, we created the deadlock situation, that the velocity DB server detects this and issues a deadlock exception. The other session um, is now happily uh, continuing and getting both of its requested locks. Um, this session two is actually aborted at this point, while session one can commit successfully. Let's now uh, go and see if we use the standalone uh, instead of using the velocity DB server. And we'll, we'll do the same thing. In this case, we don't immediately get a deadlock exception. Instead, because session one and session two don't know what the other session is doing, and no, there is no authority to to uh, to know what's going on uh, in, in these two independent sessions. These are all embedded standalone sessions. So instead, what happens is both session gets a page update a lock exception after the timeout uh, is reached. And in this case, this is in milliseconds. So after five and a half seconds, both sessions get a page update lock exception. Now see what happens if we use optimistic locking. We have to first um, end the transaction. We can't change the locking mode while in the transaction. Now, if I do this, what used to be a deadlock, it's no longer a deadlock. We can happily change data as much as we want in both cases. But then um, if we commit session one, and then we try to commit session two, now we got the optimistic locking failed for database 11. We also get the optimistic lock failed for the database 10 and 12. Uh, so, with, with using the server, the lock granularity is a page, a page, and the page is just a slice of a database file. When using uh, the standalone, the lock granularity is uh, the entire database file, and you can have millions and millions of database files. Each database file is associated with a database ID. So here we have database 10, 11, 12. And this concludes this demonstration of the sample.